Hello everyone. I hope you guys are having a great day this morning. Um, wherever is coming to you, morning, afternoon, evening. Uh, I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm still talking about service. Yesterday I talked, I read from Matthew 20, um, from verse 20 um, to 23. And I talked about service, how you can prepare yourself for service. What is God's gift? to people that cannot get to the high places. I, I, I talked about that yesterday. And so for, for the poor, for the people that are not influential, how can you get to the palace? Listen to yesterday's um, 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 presentation that I sent out there. But today I want to talk about um, greatness to service. I want to talk about greatness to service. But permit me to just read some verses of scripture to you. We're still on Matthew 20, from verse 24 um, down to 28. I'll just read to you here. And it says, And when the ten heard it, they were greatly displeased with the two brothers. That's the remaining ten um, disciples were not happy with the two brothers. That is, James and John, the Zebedee boys. They were not happy with them. But Jesus called, from verse 25 now, Jesus called them to himself and said, You know the rulers of the Gentiles, lord it over them. And those who are, who are great exercise authority over them. Yet it shall not be so among you, but whoever desires to be great among you, let him be your servant. And Jesus said that, look, those of us in the kingdom, we cannot behave like people in the world. We cannot treat, we cannot behave like people in the world. There has to be a difference. They say, look, this is a kingdom, this is a believer, this is a kingdom person. And in the world, people strive um, to become um, um, rulers, to become politicians so they can lord it over you. And um, people that are supposed to serve you um, are there, they do everything to get in there so that they can exercise authority over you but jesus said no that is not the way to be great you know um, people like to be great so they can be seen on television they can be seen they can be trending on social media that's what they want they want to show everybody that i'm greater than you i have that authority i can i can oppress you if i will um so but but jesus said no the way in the kingdom of god to greatness it is to serve. It is to serve. And, and it says, whoever desires to be the first um, among you must be your slave. And he said to him, he said about himself, he did not come to serve, to be served, but to serve. Jesus came with a mission to serve mankind, to die for mankind, to die for us so that we can be reconciled back to the father so he, he knew his mission he's not he, he didn't come here to come and play god he came here to for the mission that he had which is to reconcile people and that was what made jesus great at the end of his of his mission here on earth what happened we said that he is seated right now he's seated at the right hand of the father because he has accomplished his task he has served he was a slave jesus died for us which king dies for his people which king dies for his subject so he came to slave for us he came to serve us jesus came to serve us that's why he is great that's why he is sitting at the right hand of the father right now look at yourself let's talk about you as a business person for you to be great you have to serve your customers. You have to continually look at ways to improve your service to your customers. And that is innovation. It's only through innovation you'll be great in the marketplace. So you must have the mind of a servant as an entrepreneur. That's the only thing that can make you great. You must have a mind of an entrepreneur. Do you know that if you're a CEO of a company, you are actually a glorified errand boy for your clients. That is what you are. And that's what makes you great. 
Look at the Fortune 500 companies. Look at their CEOs. Look at their CEOs. Look at how they work. They work like servants. Yes, they have the money. But the money didn't come because they are CEOs and CEOs. The money came because they are serving. If you read, I follow, I read the biography and I follow um, Fortune 500 um, CEOs. These people work 20 to sometimes 22 hours every day. They hardly sleep because they are customers in their mind. They want to innovate so that they continue to be market leaders. If you want to be a market leader, then you must be a slave to that industry. I'm sure you've heard people say, I'm slaving for my company. That is the only way you can become a market leader. But let me speak to career people. The only way you can rise to the top is to slave for that company. Because in that thing you call slave, um, uh, you call a, a slave, slavery, that is the place, that, that is the ladder that will take you to become number one. One day, you become the CEO of the company. No company will allow you to rise if you don't sleep for them. You must sleep for them. And what do I mean by sleep? Putting in more than is required. Those are the people that management has their eyes on. People that go overboard, not what is required of them that go overboard and these are the ones that the company has eye on that they are going somewhere so you must slave that is how you become number one for you to be great then for you to be great at anything that you do even as a career person you must serve choose to serve in which area where you are that's where greatness comes and that's what jesus said and jesus is the example of the servant leader so when you talk about servant leadership jesus is an example of that servant leader have the mindset of a servant that's what makes you great as a business person as a career person come to serve and you know what the more you serve the marketplace the more you become richer wealthier because in the marketplace money or what is exchange for service? You must be doing something, I must be doing something good. And you know, good is not good enough in the corporate world nowadays. It must be great. So even if you are good, you must make that transition to becoming great. You must be great. There's a book called From Good to Great. I recommend it for every one of you listening to me today. Make that transition to be great at what you do by service true service that kingship that authority that thing you're looking for is going to come true service either you're a career person or your business person because you people are my constituents and these are the people i'm talking to you because i'm talking to you from marketplace apostle international this is this is our secretary this is where we teach people in career and people in business so it is time for you to take the kingdom model Take this Jesus model, and I assure you, as I know that the sun will rise tomorrow, that you will be great. Let me pray for you in, in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I pray for these ones. My brothers and sisters are listening to me. And Father, I ask that you impute into their hearts, let it be ingrained in their conscious and subconscious mind, service, the concept of service. That through service, they become great. Through service, they will have all that they dream of. Mighty God, I ask them, give them the spirit of a servant leader. Give them the spirit of a servant. And it is not a bad thing to have the spirit of a servant. Because it's true service, you get greatness. Mighty God, today, grant them the wisdom. Grant them the skills to actually be great. Mighty God, your word says in, in Proverbs 16.3, Commit your works unto me, and I will establish your thoughts. Father, there are works I commit unto you today. Establish their thoughts. Their thoughts that will help them serve 
and they become great. Thank you for the testimonies that will come out from these ones that are listening to me. And I hope to hear that testimony. And if you have any testimony um, from listening to us, um, I will just ask that you put it, put it out there in my DM and we will reach you. If you have any questions for me, you can just put it in my DM. We will reach you and I'll answer you. Every Friday, 4 p.m. West African time, Nigerian time, I come to answer questions. So if you have questions, just put it in my DM. I'll come on Friday, 4 p.m. to answer it. So until then, I'm also a life coach. Um, I coach people. You can also reach out and I can help you and coach you to become that thing that God has called you to be. So you guys have a great day. I look forward to seeing you um, tomorrow. Take care and God bless.